Just meet him. This is the original coronavirus, born on the 17th of November 2019 in China. Modified versions of that are the Alpha variant and the Delta variant. The shocking thing is that these three together took the lives of more than 5 million people. However, do you know what the issue is? The issue is that on the 24th of November 2021, one more modified version was born, which has been named Omicron by WHO scholars. There is bad news. Two doses of vaccine you have already taken are useless in front of this Omicron variant, and this is proving to be more dangerous than these three. So with the help of 3D animation, let us understand the science behind how the Omicron variant is finally beating the vaccines. This video is sponsored by Master 3D with Professor. We will talk about this best-rated 3D animation course later in this video. According to scientists, first of all, this coronavirus is neither living nor dead. As long as this coronavirus is outside the human body, it is considered dead, like a dust particle. However, the question arises, if this coronavirus is dead, how were the variants like Alpha, Delta, Omicron made from this original corona? In short, how is it modifying itself after all? Moreover, the answer is mutations. Hold your breath because you will see the best explanation of mutations. However, you should know that this is A person and B person. This A person has already seen the vaccine video published on this same Professor of How YouTube channel, but this B person has not. Thus, this A person will then understand the concept of mutation 10 times better than this B person. So I recommend you watch the vaccine video first by clicking the button above. As soon as this coronavirus enters the body, it will reach the cells bordering your lungs and try to hijack them. Next, you will see a highly magnified view of this area. Look at this. Here is the coronavirus, the cell at the boundary of the lungs that will be hijacked. The obvious thing is that corona has to go inside the cell to hijack it, and it will use its key to go inside. In other words, these spike proteins will be used. This ACE2 receptor, located at the cell boundary, acts as a lock. Coronavirus enters the cells by fitting its spike protein into this ACE2 receptor. Once this corona particle has entered the human body cell, it will forcefully make millions of copies of itself from this cell. And when millions of copies of this coronavirus particle will be made, it is not necessary that all are the same there can be a slight difference. So the errors or mistakes that are made in the duplication of coronavirus particles are called mutations. For example, if I ask you to send what are mutations message to my Instagram handle 1000 times, there are chances you will make a mistake. Just this thing is called mutation. Errors happening in the duplication process. The good news is that these mutations don't matter most, but the bad news is that in a rare chance the mutation in coronavirus may prove fatal. Unfortunately, this is what happened in the case of the Omicron variant. Let's understand how. I have told you earlier that you can divide coronavirus into three parts to understand it better. The first part is this main body, RNA, is present inside it, which is the brain of coronavirus. The second part is spike protein. And the third part is the tip of this spike protein, called receptor binding domain, i.e. RBD. Further, I will make a small comparison and you will start to understand the concept of Omicron much better. Compared to the original SARS-CoV-2 particle, this alpha variant had a total of 23 mutations. The delta variant had a total of 17 mutations. And the Omicron variant had a total of 50 mutations. On the other hand, partwise, the spike protein of the alpha variant had 9 mutations. The spike protein of the delta variant had 7 mutations. But the spike protein of the Omicron variant had 37 mutations or errors. Similarly, the alpha variant had only one mutation on its receptor binding domain. 
the Delta variant had two mutations on the RBD only, but the Omicron variant has 10 mutations on the RBD. Overall, you can see that Omicron is a highly mutated corona variant compared to the previous variants. And the bad news is that mutations in spike protein and RBD are working in favor of Omicron. This means that because of mutations found in the spike protein of the Omicron variant, its key is now many times better. As a result, the Omicron variant will easily enter the cell and the infection will spread rapidly. Our data shows that this Omicron variant spreads 70 times faster than the Delta variant. This is why cases are getting doubled every two to three days. Recent studies have shown that more than 90% of Omicron cases are found in fully vaccinated people. But the question is, how exactly the Omicron variant is finally beating the vaccines. Before understanding the science behind the failure of the vaccines, I'm excited to inform you that on the 1st of July 2022, I'm launching an English version of my premium 3D training program, Master 3D with Professor. Master 3D with Professor is an online course that teaches you how to easily create 3D animated videos like the Professor of How YouTube channel, Step by step. I've decided to give a flat 70% off early bird discount, but only for the first 1,000 students. For pre-booking and to get the coupon code, drop a hi to yo at professorofhow.com. Look, the job of vaccines is to train your immune system to release antibodies. Let's understand with an example. There are two people, X and Y. X person has not taken a single dose of vaccine yet, but Y person is fully vaccinated. Suppose the Delta variant of Corona enters the body of both of them. Then, in the case of X person, the coronavirus particle will hijack his human body cell and spread the infection by making millions of copies of itself. But in the case of Y person, as soon as the coronavirus particle is about to enter the human body cell, the immune system will release antibodies, and those antibodies will block the spike proteins. Corona particles cannot enter the cell now, so the infection will not spread to the Y person. But, 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 as I told you, there have been changes in the spike protein of the Omicron variant due to mutation. So now, if this Omicron variant enters the body of this Y person, the immune system will not be able to release such antibodies, which can connect to the spike protein of this Omicron variant and block it. That's because the vaccine trained this immune system for the spike protein of the Delta variant, not Omicron. Thus, people who are fully vaccinated and have had Corona before are also infected with Omicron. Does this mean vaccines are useless? No. In fact, vaccines will prevent the spread of this Omicron variant to a great extent. Let's understand how. There is a limit to the mutations that occur in the spike protein of Omicron. Therefore, Omicron cannot completely change itself by unlimited mutations. After all, it has to remain a part of the corona family. After all, it has to enter the cells using spike protein. Thus, the antibodies released by the immune system will block the Omicron variant to some extent. So it is like something is better than nothing. The second part of this video is already published on Instagram.com slash Professor of How. Do check it out and thanks for watching this video.